Hello friends, I welcome you to my YouTube channel Mac PM. So in today's video, we will solve a numerical problem which is based on rivet joints. So before you start solving this problem, I will suggest you to please watch our playlist playlist of riveted joints so that you can understand where from where we are getting this formula and you can also understand the basic of the rivet rivet joints. Okay. So let's read the problem and let's see what is asked double riveted lab joints are made in the following two ways case one diameter of rivet is equal to two centimeter pitch of rivet is equal to six centimeter so first of all it is given that it is double riveted lab joint double riveted lab joint means suppose this is plate one and uh, this is plate two this is lab joint so this plate will overlap okay this is plate one and this is plate two okay this is double riveted this is this is lab joint because these plates are overlapping here and uh, double riveted double riveted means that there are two two rivets two column of rivets or two row of rivets this this is first this is second okay so there are two column of rivets now there are two cases you can also draw the front view of this this is plate one this is plate two and uh, this is rivet number one this is rivet number two from row one and row two okay now we will note down the parameter we have case one diameter of rivets two centimeters so d is equal to two centimeter which is equal to 20 mm because the stresses are given in mm so we will convert everything in mm okay pitch of the rivet p is given as 6 centimeter which is equal to 60 mm we will note down for second case later after solving the first case now sigma t is equal to 120 newton per mm square tau is equal to 90 Newton per mm square and sigma c is equal to 160 Newton per mm square. Find out which joint has higher efficiency. So we will find the efficiency in both the cases, then we will compare these two efficiencies. Okay. Then thickness of the plate is 1.2 centimeter, which is equal to 12 mm. Now, what is the formula of efficiency? So efficiency for case 1 n1 is equal to strength of plate sorry strength of joint upon strength of plate so what is the strength of joint a strength of joint is minimum of shear strength and uh, tensile strength and crushing strength so minimum of p tensile or tearing p shear p crushing okay p is strength so divided by load of plate or sorry strength of plate original plate So for this we will we will find the PT, PS, PC and we will put the minimum of these three in, in the numerator and we will find the strength of the plate and keep it in the denominator. Now one more thing from this figure what is the pitch, pitch of this, pitch of this riveted joint is this. So how many rivets are there in one pitch? So if you see half here below this line, this 
this portion half plus half plus half plus half 4 into 1 by 2 okay so number of rivets the n is number of rivets per pitch which is equal to 4 into 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 2 rivets per pitch okay now we will get tearing strength tearing strength is pt formula for it is sigma t sigma means tensile uh, shear stress maximum uh, uh, allowed tensile strength into width width is sub plate will tear from here we have already derived these formulas in the in previous videos so this this width which is p pitch minus 2 into d by 2 because this is also do d by 2 and this is also d by 2 so p minus d by 2 into 2 into this is length and for area we have to multiply by width the width of the plate is t so if you will calculate it you will get sigma t is given as 120 newton per mm square into p is given as 60 pitch minus in first case d is equal to 20 mm into 12 is thickness of plate so if you will calculate it you will get it as p t is equal to 57600 newton okay this is equal to p t shearing uh, sorry tearing strength now we will find shear strength p s p s is equal to n into n is equal to number of uh, rivets per pitch into shear stress maximum allowed shear stress into area under rivetting so you can see here it is only one only single if shear is here okay if there were three plates then there will be double shear okay so here is single shear so n into t into area of shear uh, this rivet is shearing so area of uh, rivet is 5 by 4 d square if you multiply this then n is equal to 2 and shear stress is 90 and newton per mm square and 5 by 4 diameter of rivet is 20 mm so if you calculate it you will get 5 five, sorry 5 6 5 4 8 newton this is ps okay shearing stress shearing strength now we will find this is b we will find a crushing crushing strength okay so crushing strength formula is pc is equal to n number of rivets per pitch into sigma c crushing stress into area of projection of crushing part which is equal to diameter of rivet into thickness of plate okay so if you calculate it you will get n is equal to 2 sigma c is equal to 160 and diameter is 12 sorry diameter is 20 so this is 20 into thickness of plate is 12 mm okay so if you will multiply this you will get 7 6 8 double zero this is crushing strength okay so what is the minimum of this three so if you will see this cr is cr strength is minimum so plate will fail or joint will fail under cr okay and uh, what is the strength of plate strength of original plate is p which is equal to tensile strength into area under one pitch area under one pitch is pitch length into thickness of plate 
So if you will calculate it, you will get 120 it tends all interest Newton per mm square into pitch length is 60. Okay, into thickness is 12. If you will calculate it, you will get 86,400 Newton. Okay, so what will be the efficiency N1? In first case, it is equal to minimum of this three, which is CL, CL strength, which is 56, 5, 4, 8 Newton, divided by 8, 6, 4, double 0. Okay, so if, if you calculate it, you will get 0.6545. If you calculate in percentage, then you have to multiply it by 100, then it will become 65.45 percentage. Okay, so this is the efficiency in first case. Now we will see for second case. So second case. In second case, what is given? We will just have a look. See, in second case, everything is same. Only rivet diameter is 30 mm. 3 cm is also 30 mm. And pitch of rivet is 80 mm. Okay. So we will note it down. D is equal to diameter of rivet is equal to 3 centimeter which is equal to 30 mm and the pitch is equal to 8 centimeter which is equal to 80 mm thickness of plate T is equal to same which is equal to 12 mm now we will calculate in similar way first is tearing strength pt is equal to sigma t into p minus d into t okay so if you will multiply this and put the values you will get 120 into p is 80 minus d is 30 into t is 12 so you will get pt is equal to 72000 newton similarly for b we will get cr strength which will be equal to n into into tau into area which is pi by 4 d square so n is 2 here in this case we have already seen in first case into shear stress is maximum allowable shear stress is 90 newton per mm square into pi by 4 into diameter is 30 mm so if you put those values these values you will get 1 2 7 2 3 4 point 5 newton c crossing strength pc is equal to sigma c n into sigma c into d into t which will be equal to p n is number of rivets per pitch which is equal to 2 into crossing stress is 160 newton per mm square into diameter is 30 into thickness of plate is 12 so if you will calculate it you will get 115200 newton okay now strength of the plate strength of plate is equal to sigma t into p into t per pitch so it is equal to 120 sigma t into pitch is 80 mm into thickness of the plate is 12 so if you calculate it you will get 115200 newton so what will the efficiency in second case so n2 is equal to what is the minimum of this thing? Pt is minimum, so it is equal to minimum 
of PT, PS, and PC divided by strength of plate, strength of original plate into 100. This is efficiency. So if you put the values, PT is which is minimum of the three and two is equal to seven two double g triple zero divided by one one five two double zero so if you calculate it you will get sixty two point five percent if you multiply it by hundred sixty two point five percent so this is our efficiency so if you will see in first case what was the efficiency 65.45 in second case 62 point so first case efficiency is higher okay or we can write as n1 efficiency in first case is greater than n2 one more thing you can observe that if we increase the diameter of the rivet then strength of shear increases rapidly because the rivet is getting seared so if uh, uh, sharing strength is very less then you can just increase the diameter of the rivet okay so i hope you understood this problem if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe and share to our channel thank you for watching